Hi friends, you are welcome back to another interesting question. We are asked to calculate the length of the red line, which is this here. We have this code divided into two segments of length 20 unit and 16 unit. Here, this arc and this both have their lengths to be A. That is, they are congruent. So how can we solve this? How can we calculate the length of other side DE? It is very simple. Start from these congruent arcs. The formula for calculating the length of an arc is theta over 360 times 2 pi r. Pi is a constant and r is radius. It is the same for every arc of the cycle. The only variable that changes is theta. So therefore, theta for the two congruent arcs will be congruent. Theta is the angle the arcs subtend to the center of the cycle. If the central angles are equal, of course, the angle they subtend to the circumference must also be equal. Because of the rule from the circle theory that the angle at the center is exactly twice the angle at the circumference if subtended by the same arc. So these angles are congruent. If we let this be x, this must also be x. Here, this angle and this are subtended by the same arc BE. That makes them equal. So since this is x, this must also be x. Now look at this triangle. It has an angle x and an angle B. Same is for this triangle. It also has an angle x and an angle B. That makes the two triangles similar. So if we take the ratio of their sides in triangle ADE, this side facing angle X, say H, divided by this side must be equal to this side also facing angle X divided by this. So H over 20 plus 16 equal to 16 over h. 20 plus 16 is 36. Cross multiply. h times h is h squared. 36 times 16 is 576. Take the square root of both sides of the equation. Here square root of h squared is h. While here Square root of 576 is 24. So H, which is red line, equal to 24. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And also turn on notifications. Thank you.